So time period and frequency are two quantities that we can use to describe waves. So what do they mean? So time period is a time taken for one complete oscillation. So it doesn't even have to describe a wave. It can be anything that's oscillating. So for example, a pendulum or a mass on a spring bobbing up and down. One time period is the time it takes to complete one whole oscillation. Uh, and normally it's going to be measured in seconds, but it doesn't have to be measured in seconds. It doesn't even have to be something that's oscillating. It could be something orbiting or doing some kind of circular motion. So for example, Earth takes 365 days to go around the sun. So that's the time period of its orbit. Or when it's rotating on its own axis, it takes 24 hours. So that's a time period for its rotation. Now in the context of waves, the time period is the time it takes for one complete wave to pass a point. So let's say we're standing here at point X and we've got a stopwatch. We're going to time how long it takes for one whole wave to pass a point. So if we start a timer and stop it when it gets here, so let's say, for example, it was 3.5 seconds. So that's the time period, the time it takes for one whole wave to pass a point. Normally, you don't actually just measure one wave, you measure multiple and then divide by the number of waves so you get a better result. So now for frequency. Frequency in many ways is the inverse of time period. It's how often something happens in a given time. So as an example, imagine if I ask the question, how frequent is the postman to your house? You might say the postman comes three times per week. So basically it's how often something happens in a given time. So the word frequency doesn't even have to be used for waves. It can be used in anything that's oscillating. So for example, the number of oscillations per unit time means frequency. In these examples here, the pendulum swinging and the mass bobbing up and down on the spring. If I said the frequency is 0 0.5 Hertz, that means it's doing 0 0.5 oscillations per second, half a oscillation per second. So normally we use Hertz, which just means how often something happens per second. It has to be capital H, by the way, uh, because it's named after someone. But you don't have to use per second. You can use uh, per minute. For example, this uh, wind turbine is rotating 7.5 times per minute. That's still an example of frequency. Now, in the context of waves, frequency is the number of waves passing a point per unit time. Now, the per unit time we normally use per second, which is uh, which, which is basically hertz, the number of waves passing a point per second. So let's stand here at point X and time uh, over a number of oscillations. So let's start the time and count the number of waves as well. So one, two, three. Okay, so let's say that took roughly 7.5 seconds for three waves to pass. Now, I want to figure out the number of waves passing per second because that's what hertz is. So it's 7.5 seconds. Let's divide both sides by 7.5. So that gives me 0 0.4 waves, uh, four waves per second, which is the same as saying 0 0.4 hertz. So it's 4 tenths of a wave passing a point per second. Okay, so frequency and time period are actually related through this equation here. This says that time period is 1 divided by frequency, where time period is normally measured in seconds and frequency in hertz. However, you can rearrange this equation, just swap those the frequency and time period around. This is still the same. You could do it, rearrange it slowly if you want, but they're basically both going to work. This tells us that time period is inversely proportional to frequency. So what this means is if I double the time period, that would mean that the frequency actually halves. Or if I triple the time period, that means the frequency would become a third and so on. So the diagram shows the waveform. Calculate the frequency of the wave. So just looking at this, I've got displacement and I've got time on the x-axis. So I can figure out the time for one wave. Okay, so just simply reading this, that's the time period, the time for one wave. So time period is four seconds. So I can use the equation one over frequency, or actually let me rearrange this to give frequency equals one over time period. I've got the time period is one uh, over four seconds for one whole wave there. That means 0 0.25. And because I use seconds, that's the same as saying 0 0.25 hertz. So zero, a quarter of a wave per second. Example two, the waves shown pass a point in 20 seconds. Calculate the frequency of the wave. Okay, so we've got these many waves passing in 20 seconds. Let's actually count the number of waves very carefully. So we've got one wave here, two and a half. So it's actually two and a half. Always measure these very carefully. So it takes 2.5 uh, waves pass in 20 seconds. So let's figure out the frequency straight away by just dividing both sides by 20. That gives us 
how many waves in one second, which is basically hertz, so it's 0 0.125 hertz. Now, if you preferred, you might want to figure out the uh, time period instead. That's how long it takes for one wave. So if you have 2.5 uh, waves in 20 seconds, if you divide both sides by 2.5, you'll get one wave every eight seconds. So that's your time period, eight seconds. And then you can just use the equation one over time period to give you the frequency. So you get the same answer that way as well, whichever way you prefer.